Hello, Quincy Mayor Tom Koch here with our COVID-19 update. And I want to talk a little bit after we get through the numbers, a little bit about our restaurant uh, locations. Uh, so at this point, we have 1399 confirmed cases. The deaths have not changed. Uh, 1152 have recovered. So we're up to 60 active cases, so an increase of three today, which is down from the last several days. We've been averaging at least five. That's a good thing. Uh, total cases in Massachusetts, almost 109,000. Uh, today, a little bit, as I mentioned, I want to talk about restaurants. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank all the restaurant owners and operators. I mean, I think everybody has been doing a remarkable job under the circumstances, trying to do the best they can for their customers, for their employees, and to try to keep the economy going. We've had some issues that have, you know, risen along the way, and with a few places, they've been cooperative. They reached out directly to the health department, and fortunately, um, everybody worked together to try to uh, handle the situation, which led to a couple of closings for a short period of time. So again, I'm grateful for the restaurant owners for the great work they're doing. We have uh, a great health department, as I've talked about. Ruth Jones and her team have been terrific out there working very hard with the restaurant owners, not against people, trying to come together as a community, work together to get through this. Understanding that we have rules and guidelines we really need to follow. So we've issued another notice today by a license board as a reminder to all our establishments and it really talks about the regulations and emphasizing the areas, again, of importance. One, maximize the outdoor spaces when possible. There's some restaurants that have more flexibility for outdoor seating than others, but recognizing that in this good weather to maximize that when possible. Six feet between tables. That whole argument about six feet, social distancing, it goes together with the tables. Everyone has to be seated at a table. Can't be roaming around, can't be hanging at a bar. You have to be at a table uh, while you're in the restaurant. Parties of no more than six per table. Uh, again, this is all really to protect your health and safety and keep this disease from spreading. And all staff, uh, all staff in these restaurants have to have masks, have to have face coverings. That's a requirement. And I know that we've had a few issues here and there where we've gone out to restaurants and reminded them because we've had some reports. Um, and uh, I think everyone's responded quite, quite well. Again, it's important for everybody. C customers coming in, you need to have your mask on going into the restaurant. Once you're seated in place with your close people that you live with, are dining with that night, you can take the mask off, obviously, to be to eating. If you get up to go to the restroom, you please put your mask on. Again, you're passing people. And when you get up to leave, the mask goes back on until you get into your car or into your home. Uh, so these are all obvious, common sense guidelines we're following, but everyone needs to be reminded. I'm reminded from time to time. I've gone and out of my house without my mask. I go back in and get the mask. Uh, these are habits that are, are there, important habits to get through this time to keep it from transmitting. So any questions anybody has, uh, restaurant owners, people that work in restaurants, you can call the health department, or you can call the city clerk's office. City clerk, uh, she's the chair of the license board, Nicole Crispo, Sue Kendrigan in the clerk's office would be helpful as well. Again, everybody is trying to make this work all around, keep people employed, uh, keep people from having to cook every night at home by getting takeout or going to a restaurant, keep the economy going. It's so, so important. So if everybody abides by the guidelines, and we get these numbers back flat again. Uh, life will be a little easier. We'll be a little less concerned. Tonight I have a school committee meeting. We're going to be talking a little bit about plans for school reopening. We'll have more to say that uh, in a future show. Uh, but the school committee meetings are on uh, Comcast, cable. You can follow those. And I want to thank the school administration team that is doing outstanding work preparing for the school committee to present these plans. So until next time, stay safe, stay well. God bless.